The biggest phone that Apple have to date is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And the biggest phone that Samsung have to date is not the Note series, but in fact the Galaxy Fold. So today we're gonna to test the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the Samsung Galaxy Fold. We have the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the left-hand side with the Apple A13 processor. We've got the Samsung Galaxy Fold with the Snapdragon 855 on the right-hand side. And as I say that, both devices are into the chronography test. In fact, now the SQL light test is going pretty quick there on the A13. What's the Samsung going to do? That's quick, but not the same speed, not as fast as the Apple there. As it went into the JSON test, the Apple did the JSON test. It's now into the compression test. This is testing the CPU's ability to compress and the I.O. storage of the device. As we have both of them now in the compression test, but the Apple has gone out of the compression test it's now into the 16 thread test and this is only a hexacore processor with two large cores and four smaller cores but it seems to be doing pretty well through that thread test can the uh, snapdragon 855 and the samsung galaxy fold catch up no it doesn't as the iphone 11 is now into the blur test is the beginning of the mix cpu gpu section of this test run as we're now into the infinite list the galaxy fold is now into the same blur test and as I'm saying that, we're now into the po smoke particle test of the iPhone 11. What's the frame rate going to be? 30 frames a second. After this comes Unity test. Up comes Unity test now. Clearly a big lead now by the iPhone 11 over the Samsung Galaxy uh, Fold. What's the frame rate going to be in the smoke particle test on the uh, Fold? Let's see. What's that number? 19 frames a second as the one comes to the end. The Apple's coming to the end. 1 minute 15.5 seconds. And as it came to the end there, only now is the Galaxy Fold going into the... Uh, final test there, the Unity test. Let's see what it can do as it comes down now, turns left, swings round through this river, comes to the end of that dead end, and then we'll get the final time. Here we go now. What's it going to be? There we have it. Come on. There we go. 1 minute 36.5. Okay, let's break down those scores and see what happened. So clearly the iPhone 11 Pro Max won with 1 minute 15.5. 21 seconds later, the Samsung Galaxy Fold came in at 1 minute 36.5. Now, where did that huge 21 seconds come from? Well, let's look at the CPU times. 40 seconds for the iPhone, 48.7 seconds for the Samsung Galaxy Fold. So uh, over an eight second gain there by the iPhone 11. We get to the mixed CPU, GPU, 21 seconds versus 27 seconds. Again, lots of important seconds gained there. And then when we get into the GPU test, 14.5 versus 20.7. And when you add up all those wins in each of those categories for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you get one minute 15.5. Okay, so there you have it. So please do tell me in the comments below what other devices you'd like to see pitched against the iPhone 11 or even the iPhone 10s. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget we also have a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. And I suppose, well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.